Psalm 23 holds the potential to profoundly impact our lives when we truly understand and apply its wisdom. This timeless passage not only blesses us, but also serves as a beacon of hope, strength, and protection against the lies and actions of Satan and his agents. Join us as we embark on a line-by-line -line exploration of the riches deposited in this psalm, alongside supporting verses from the Bible. Through these insights, we'll uncover the profound meaning behind each verse and how it aligns with God's promises. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. This opening sentence establishes God's unwavering commitment to provide and care for us, ensuring we lack nothing. He is our good shepherd, as affirmed by Jesus himself in John 10, 11, where he sacrificially laid down his life for us. If Christ willingly gave his life for our benefit, then surely, he will continually bless and care for us. Additionally, Ezekiel 34, 15 reinforces this truth, assuring us that God, the ultimate shepherd, will provide for our every need. He makes me lie down in green pastures, he leads me beside the still waters. This sentence beautifully depicts God's restorative care, offering us rest and refreshment as his beloved people. Just as Jesus extends the invitation in Matthew 11, 28 to 29, for the weary to find solace in him, we too can find tranquility in God's presence. Isaiah 49, 10 further reinforces this provision, assuring us that God will guide us along the best paths and lead us to sources of renewal. Whatever our souls yearn for, God's abundant provision awaits those who trust and obey in Him. He restores my soul. He leads me in the paths of righteousness for His name's sake. This line highlights God's transformative power and His guidance toward righteous living. Psalm 19, 7 reinforces that God's Word revives our souls, imparting spiritual renewal as we follow His precepts. Proverbs 3, 5 to 6 urges us to trust in the Lord wholeheartedly, acknowledging His authority in all aspects of our lives, promising that He will direct our paths with wisdom. Yeah, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for you are with me, your rod and your staff, they comfort me. Together with the psalmist, we find confidence in God's unwavering presence and protection, even in life's darkest moments. The experiences of Abraham, David, and Joseph, among others in the Bible, attest to God's faithfulness during trials. Isaiah 43, 2 further assures us that God will be with us through the most challenging circumstances. As Psalm 91, 4 reinforces, God's faithfulness serves as a shield and a buckler, offering comfort and protection amidst adversity. You prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. You anoint my head with oil. My cup runs over. This line symbolizes God's abundant provision, honor, and favor despite opposition and challenges. Psalm 37, 3-6 emphasizes that entrusting our ways to the Lord results in righteousness and vindication in the presence of adversaries. Furthermore, Psalm 92, 10 speaks of God exalting his people, anointing them with blessings that overflow. In God's mighty hands, we can confidently face any opposition. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. This closing sentence instills in us unwavering hope and assurance of God's constant presence and blessings throughout our lives and into eternity. Psalm 27 for reveals the psalmist's desire to dwell in God's house, seeking his intimate presence. Revelation 21, 3-4 unveils God living among his people in the new heaven and earth, wiping away tears and eradicating sorrow. These powerful references demonstrate Psalm 23's alignment with Jesus' teachings and God's promises, assuring us of his rest, restoration, guidance, protection, abundance, and eternal presence. Friends, let's internalize and believe God's words in Psalm 23, aligning our lives with its profound meaning. As we journey in the assurance of God's boundless provision, may we find rest, renewal, and greatness in God's love, mercy, and compassion.